And here we've got buses, uh, which are auxiliary sends. Uh, it's kind of a little bright again. Uh, these are again all patched. Um, but what I would need to do here is um, patch a particular aux send to uh, over here. Again, we've all got from and to, so then I would come over to the to side, and this is a representation of the 16 outputs that are on the DL251, uh, outputs that are on the back of the console, uh, in stuff that's dedicated to the monitor I.O., the monitor A, monitor B, talkback, uh, AES stuff here, and then surface outputs, which are the local outputs. And uh, if I were to hover over this one, and we'll let it see what it says. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, we've got, this one says, out one uh, or aux send bus out one is rooted to out one on DL two five one A, so that's saying that this aux is actually being applied to this. So Midas has made the the patching very intuitive for us, um, and uh, the more one would play with it, the more you could uh, uh, see how intuitive the patching that they've given us is. So if we were to go over here and and uh, line up our effects. Um, line up our effects or actually the way we need to do this first is we'd start with a bus out because we need to feed the effect with something in this instance I believe this sorry about that little camera hiccup but this matrix is feeding our our reverb and this is saying that it's internal effects source one so then if I came over to the two side I've selected effects which we can see here and now effects one if I were to hover over this this is the input of effect engine one uh, I can see that this is uh, coming from internal effects one source one routed from matrix bus out one so now I have patched a bus to the input of my uh, to the input of my uh, effects engine now what we would have to do is we would have to come over to this side of effects and we would have to uh, patch the uh, effect returns so these are uh, saying that these are coming from output one of effects one um, which uh, on this side uh, we would um, let's see here's our aux returns uh, and this is uh, what's controlling uh, these two so we've made all of the applicable patches from a bus to the input from the output of the effects return back over to uh, some uh, uh, internal effects returns here. I'm sorry, I don't have the camera over that. So uh, we've routed the uh, these effect outputs, the stereo outputs, uh, to those uh, effects. So in a nutshell, that's how patch patching works. Um, and you'll notice too that on the top of each one of these is the same color code that they are in the buttons uh, uh, on the top of each input channel so you can see all that color coding.